and gentlemen, we are back, and we have two uh, very, very special guests. Very special. Very good friends of ours. Um, Perry and Tori from uh, Montana Buds here in Kalispell, Montana. Yes. Thank you guys so much Absolutely. for coming on the show. Thank you so, for having us. Oh, you yes. are quite welcome. Flathead country. Boom. <laughs> so, um, been a kind of a big, uh, kind of a big, little, uh, kind of some changes have happened in the last week in the Montana medical marijuana laws. To say the least. To say the least. And it's caused an uproar, to say the least. To say the least. To say the least. Uh, and I actually had an interview with Tori on Saturday, and I guess maybe now it's our turn to do the interviewing. <laughs> Reverse the rules a little bit. So, um, Tori, give us... You have the floor, my dear. Um, tell us what's going on and uh, what we need to do to fix this. So the Montana State Supreme Court went ahead and changed uh, the laws for the medical marijuana mm -hmm. industry. Um, they are trying to reduce each provider down to uh, three patients only. Um, mm -hmm. And... Out here in uh, Flathead County, Montana Buds itself as a dispensary has over 90 patients. Um, so it's it's causing a bit of an uproar. People are really freaking out. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hyperventilating almost to the point <laughs> they're, well, calling, they're calling us freaking out. Um, but there's a lot that, you know, we can do right now, like call uh, our state legislatures and go on to Montana Family United, uh, mm -hmm. familiesunited.com. Yes. And forward that movement. You can donate. You can go on to any of the dispensaries' Facebook websites. You can go into Harbor Advertising LLC, uh, their YouTube channel, the uh, .com website, or the Facebook page. Yes. And look at the research there and um, even come down to do interviews if you yourself are interested in furthering the movement. The furthering the movement, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Because if we bring this to the legislature, you know, the people the people come up, the people do something, then something will happen. Yeah, I called uh, three of the state senators um, this last week, and I got a lengthy list of le the legislatures and the, uh, the lobbyists, and I have posted all of that online for the public to go ahead and view and to call. Um, I've called all of them myself. I noticed that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw that on Facebook. It's a lot going on right now. Mm -hmm. And the videos, um, the video editing, it's insane. There's so much going on. Everybody yeah. wants to be heard. Well, you it's, guys are true troopers. You know? uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you're pioneers of the industry, to be quite honest with you. Um, you're doing, a, well, I mean, you're doing a lot to fight for people who, who need, need, medicine. need medicine. Yeah, it's not just about the pot. It's about no, actually it's the not. patients yes. and their ailments and the reasons that they have these medical cards. Um the research for cancer needs to be further, furthered. Um, it, everything needs to be further, further researched on this industry. Um, if, if we can't get funding, if we can't get it to be even medically uh, legalized, then we can't further the research. We can't see how this is helping these people who are claiming that this is helping their ailments, their cancer, their tumors, that kind of stuff. Um, and it's so. helping them even more than, you know, prescription medications and all the oxys and hydros that are out there that Absolutely. people are getting sick Prescription medicine of. is so dangerous. Absolutely. It's so dangerous. People tell me, you know, I would, I, I do not take the pharmaceutical medications that they prescribe me for my ailments just because it makes me sicker. It, the, the side effects are so much worse than my original condition. It's it's just, it's heartbreaking. It really is heartbreaking to see yeah. some of these people. We even have a patient who has, you know, 10 seizures a day. How are we supposed to pick three out of the 90 patients that we have? Yeah, and isn't that the kind of the point you guys are making by using those videos? Send yes. them to the, the legislature and tell them, hey, you guys, yes, absolutely. pick ours and every, we can't do it. every patient that we have, we have them sign a piece of paper. We have them do a video. Um, we also have them uh, write a letter to the to the senator and to the to the governor and just to try and get a mass amount of people to send them an overwhelming yeah. amount of stuff that they just can't sift through it without re without changing the laws. Again. Well, I mean, yeah. it's like you know, I, I I I love the thought of just mountains of paperwork <laughs> being plopped onto the desk of senators and the governor and going, hey, is this what you wanted? Is this what you want? <laughs> exactly. Guess what? You pick them. And I, I just, I love that thought because it's like, you know. The visualization is beautiful. Right. I mean, <laughs> it really is. You know, it's like. Uh, it's, it's really sticking it to them. Wait, I, it's, it's great that you guys are fighting for everybody out there, you know, who is a, is a person who doesn't want to 
you know, mm. somebody who doesn't want to go back to the, their old life of, you know, I've personally known plenty of people who were addicted to pills, and marijuana has helped them exponentially, and it's a scary thought to, you know, think that they're going to go back to that lifestyle if they don't have their medicine. Yeah, and marijuana, it's actually rejuvenative. It mm -hmm. actually, you know, mends the problem that those RX medications have given you. Correct. You know, it's, it's, and there's more receptors in the human body for THC and CBDs than there is anything else. I just don't understand why the research hasn't gone further, why the government won't allow us, the popular vote, to have exactly what yeah. we've wanted for so long. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I remember having a conversation with you that was kind of like, it's, uh, this similar thing happened in the states that have legalized marijuana recreationally. Yes. This, th this has happened before, and yes. it's, it's a scare attack. It was, yes. a, yeah, and it's just leading right up to, hopefully, crossing fingers, hopefully to leading up to the, le you know, the re legalization of recreational if, marijuana. you know, if, it, if not that, then at least hopefully back to medically. Yeah. Uh, Perry, my good sir, what would you, uh, like to add well, basically, what's going on is March 25th, we have to comply with the three-patient order. We will not be complying with that order. It is illegal and immoral for us to do that. We will send the governor all of our patients. He will pick the three for us, and until he does that, man's up, we will not close our doors. We will also take on new patients and transfers. Basically, if this passes, what patients have to do is become illegal. They have to grow their own medicine. From seed to flower, you're looking at six months. And uh, what, Perry, what is the uh, average cost of growing your own medicine? Uh, that's different for everybody. Uh, okay, so for somebody like me, if I, you know, or just like, hey, I'm just going to grow three plants, what would that, you know? Well, ballast, the light, uh, someone that you can find to give you good medicine. Uh, as a clone or feminized seeds, uh, electricity, uh, you're well over 600 to set up for four plants, and then your electricity a month. So, uh, bulbs, mm -hmm. uh, nutrition, uh, soil, it's not know how. It's not cheap. And then, and then on top of it, if the patients do have to become their own providers, um, it, it still would be illegal for them to uh, produce the amount of marijuana that they are supposedly legally allowed to grow because if you've grown marijuana before, you know that one ounce comes, more than one ounce comes off of a plant. Yep. So already um, by harvesting just one plant as a medical provider yourself, just yourself, by yourself, you're already breaking the law. So it, it's not feasible. It's not going to work. No, not at all. It's not. And uh, I, this is great. I, it's great. It's it's basically a scare tactic. It is. They want to see how many people will close their doors. They want to see if we will comply. The government works for us. We don't work for them. Mm -hmm. and you guys are real troopers and absolutely very brave in your in uh, your very company's much. choice to it's stay a, open and take people in. Yeah. And I, I do appreciate that. that it's a very big. it's a very strong and powerful message. That's a moral. It's a moral issue for me. Mm -hmm. And it's not just. Uh, it's not just Flathead County. No Montana buds in the state of Montana will be closing. Yes. So, well, um, anything else you guys would like to add, say, please, you have the mic. Um, uh, let us know. Uh, Thursday or Friday, we will be opening a so-called shop dispensary, uh, 120 Highland Drive, Kalispell, uh, right before Church Road on 93. How ironic. Ah, right outside of city limits, baby. Yeah, absolutely. Wonderful. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very, very uh, excited for the future. I'm very excited for you guys. I'm very, I'm very hopeful for the future. I really Thank am. Thank you guys so much. For Thank you absolutely for being on the show. Wonderful message on the, on to the show. Someone's got to be a poster boy. And yeah. we're here to do that. So absolutely. we want our patients to get the uh, medicine they deserve because they've come a long way over this last year yeah. alone. And uh, we are going to have uh, this episode of The Fuzz tomorrow. It should be up on Mixcloud tomorrow it or the next be. day. And so if you guys would like to post uh, the episode to your Facebook and or to say, whatever. hey, you know, what to whatever and say, hey, listen to our interview because it's a great interview and I'm, I would love for people to hear it. I really would. 
We love Whitefish Community Radio. Boom. Well, thank well, you. We so love Whitefish Community yeah. Radio. Well, we do um, thank I, you so much. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Perry thank and Tori. Montana Bunch represent. Uh oh. I think looks they're like, here. Uh, well, let's let's give us let's you let get a song in, going. Let's get a song going before these guys come on. So, uh, in uh, uh, here, in reference to what we have just spoken about, let's listen to something that's both American. Oh yes, and marijuana related. This yes. is a marijuana kid by Bongzilla. You're listening to the fun.